Hi everyone, welcome back. This video we're gonna be going over the Lazy Admin Try Hack Me box. I saw this on stream yesterday on Twitch. If you prefer a live walkthrough, uh, follow me on Twitch to see some more live uh, Try Hack Me boxes. I will demonstrate this one now, so let's just get right into it. I uh, started the box here. So let's go ahead and uh, start what I usually start with is just a very basic end map scan. I sometimes use specific flags. Sometimes I don't. It depends. Most of the time I like something that's kind of quick and will give me versions numbers. And then if I need a more, uh, you know, robust output from end map, I'll use specific scripts and things like that, depending on what I find from the original end map scan results. So we will see what kind of information uh, we get back from this and then we'll start poking around. So it looks like we have SSH open and we have HTTP. Let's go ahead and check out the website and see what we can find. We just have a default Apache, uh, you know, default splash page. We could do some poking around. Um, let's start with some directory busting. Uh, let's see, yeah. We'll do some uh, directory busting and then maybe we could poke at the SSH script, anything like that. Let's uh, get this going because it can take a minute. All right, pick out a word list, uh, da, 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 da. user, share. Word lists and Durbuster. All right, we'll get that started. Uh, we could do some things too that we just like can check and see if there's an admin page. Uh, we can check to see if robots has anything, nothing crazy. Uh, you know, you could kind of poke around and do some manual uh, directory busting if you prefer. Aside from like the robots.txt, I don't really do a lot of manual uh, directory busting, mainly because I like Durbuster or GoBuster and it gives me results quicker. Now, it looks like we have some positive matches here. So content, content images, JavaScript, sweet rice, captcha. Let's just check out the content page. It says, welcome to Sweet Rice. Thank you for install Sweet Rice as your website management system. This site is building now, please come late. And then it says, if you are a webmaster or if you are the webmaster, please go to dashboard general website settings. So there's probably going to be some area for us to log in as the webmaster. So we just need to find that area. Uh, let's take a look. I know there was the images. So we can look at that, uh, see different things. Let's see. Anything that looks like super interesting. Um, we have a CAPTCHA. We have PHP, had our background. Nothing entirely exciting. But it is good that we know that we have this images directory so that maybe if we upload something, we can try and find it here. Let's see what else we had found. Uh, let's see, images, we already saw the index. We could check out JS. Let's try that out. Just some JavaScript information here. Let's see, we could try and find something in there. Like if, I don't know, maybe credentials. I don't entirely know what we would find. 
Uh, site map could be interesting. All right, but this is still going. So let's just wait to see if we get any other results. Another thing that we can poke around at while we're waiting is the open SSH port. We could try some uh, just, you know, normal or common default passwords. So let's give that a shot here. Actually, let's start with just admin. All right, let's try password, admin, password one, two, three. And permission denied. We could try the same thing on root. So let's try the same thing just with root instead of admin. The other thing we could try and do as well is Google uh, just default login credentials since we know that there's sweet rice running. So we can do that too. Let's try just some basic things here like admin, password, password, one, two, three. No. Sweet rice D. Okay. Sweet. Uh, oh, it looks like the first thing that came up was this vulnerability. Um, there's a f arbitrary file upload. Not exactly what I was looking for, but interesting that these things come up. So that might be worth looking into a little bit more. Let's see. Another one, maybe this is the same. Uh, this one says reset admin password. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. We still haven't gotten much else on our directory busting, but it's still going. So we can give that some more time. Uh, it says, this is interesting because it gives us this file path, pa file path here it says this vulnerability exists due to the a slash index script to properly sanitize user supplied input. A hacker could change the admin password. Interesting. Let's try this file path. Okay. So we do have a login page, which is what we were looking for. Now, we don't have any credentials yet. I wonder if we can find anything else with this AS. I'm assuming that this is going to be found in Durbuster. But let's look back at Index.
please enter your admin email. Okay. I guess we would have to have the admin email to try that. Hmm. Interesting. Good to know. Let me duplicate this and see if it gave us an admin email. on this content page. Hmm. Oh, it looks like we did get more uh, information found on Durbuster. And there is a MySQL backup, so that would be interesting to take a look at. Oh, uh, what did I copy? All the way to content. Okay. Let's see what we find in this uh, SQ, MySQL backup. Okay. CD downloads cat MySQL. All right, so we have some information here related to a MySQL backup that we were able to find through Durbuster, we downloaded it, and uh, now it gives us kind of, it looks like information on that original page that we saw under content where it says the site is building now. If you're the webmaster, please go to dashboard. Um, this is interesting where it says password here. We can try and find that, which looks like a hash. So let's just, Google that. And okay, so here it says like in the preview, it says uh, into the string is password with a capital P one, two, three. And it looks like the username is manager. Let's try that. On the login page that we had found. Oh no, I think I typed it in wrong. All right, let's see. Sweet, okay, so we are logged in. We see the current version is 151. And now we're gonna go and basically kind of poke through here and see what options that we have. I know on the original page, like we said, it says, if you're a webmaster, please go to dashboard general website settings. So this is the dashboard. I guess their setting is general here. Looks like we have some SQL database information. Let's poke around like a little bit more. Plugin list. Ads. Oh, okay, so we do have an upload on plugin list as well. That's interesting. Then we also have this add section. So I think there's probably a couple different ways to solve this. What I would like to do and see if this works is just add a shell and well, let me set up netcat. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. We're gonna try port 901. I am just using a shell that I found uh, 
on this uh, reverse shawls website. I really like this for something that you need if it's quick and easy. They have a ton of different options. So that's what I've been using lately. Although I also found uh, Weebly, which I really like that as well. If you need something password protected, like if you're using it during a pen test, that's super helpful to have. Okay. All right, so we save that and then it gives us a URL up here. Let's give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Let's see, go back and see where I went wrong. I hope I did the right uh, ports. What did I put? 901, okay. Let's try it again. I'll try it in a private window too. We can see. Nothing, okay. If we look at our first hint when it told us to go to general settings, website settings, okay. Oh, we do have this upload as well. Let's turn this close website off and then try again. I'll try it in this just in case. Oh, but I don't think I have. Oh, okay. I did have my Netcat listener on. Let's try this out here. Actually, I'll just do ID. Okay. Uh, CD home. All right, cool. We were able to get the first user flag. Now what I'm gonna do is upgrade this shell so that we can do a little bit more poking around. We're going to need to uh, somehow privilege escalate and get the root flag now. Let me get this Python command so that we can upgrade the shell. All right, here we go. So we see we have some information here. Okay, we have a backup file, which also could be interesting. Interesting, okay, now it says system copy sh. Interesting. So the file copy.sh already has a shell in it. So what we could try and do is put our IP address into that shell. All right. One more thing I want to do is see if there's any, okay, permission. So that backup file, we do have permissions no password to run that as super user. So let's see if I can, what is it called? See what's in or edit the copy.sh. All right, uh, program fam cannot be found. Another option that we can try and do is use echo. 
let's take this and see if we can edit it to add our IP in there. What is all right? Ten dot thirteen dot zero dot five nine two slash ATC slash copy dot sh. Okay, so basically, what we're doing here is we're using sudo to oh maybe i can't use sudo okay so we're gonna echo that shell that is in already in that copy.sh file and we updated the ip address to my ip address so that i can run netcat and uh try and see if i can get a shell that way using this file and then hopefully the idea is that I wonder if this needs to be after that. The idea is that uh, with that shell, we will have uh, root privilege, ask it, privilege access <laughs> so that we could then go ahead and try and see if we can access the root flag. So what I'm gonna do is copy this, set up another netcat listener with uh, 5554. Now I will try to, all right, cross your fingers. Okay. Now the next thing that I want to do is basically sudo and then run this that we have access to. So we can run this backup.perl file. No such file or directory. Hmm. Did it work? <laughs> it worked. Okay. Woo. All right. We have root. We we're able to run the Perl file, which then kicks off the web shell. And then the web shell contacted us. And now we have it. And we are root. So let's go into root. Can't CD into root. Let's try this way. Cat root.txt and there we go. Awesome. It was much easier the second time around doing this than the first time was a little stressful, even though it's not that difficult of a box. Sometimes you get tripped up on things that are a little simple, <laughs> but hopefully that was a good walkthrough for you and I was able to clearly explain it. Again, if you want to watch me do live walkthroughs of these boxes, you can follow me on Twitch and I'm streaming right now every Tuesday and Thursday around 5.30 Eastern time, US Eastern time. So come hang out with us. It's a good time. We all hack together. Backseating is allowed. So yeah, we're just solving them together. So hopefully that was uh, great and uh, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>